Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. My name is Jonathan and this is the Always Up Too Late channel. And I'm bringing you an update video today that I can tell you that I, no matter how I title this video, I actually don't know what the title is going to be yet. I can assure you that this is not clickbait and I will go ahead and preface everything else uh, that I'm about to say and show you with everyone is okay, everyone walked away, uh, everybody, everybody's safe, you know, yeah. I mean, minor cuts, bruises, scrapes, uh, you know, a little banged up, a little beat up. But uh, yeah, so the, the excursion was in a major accident, unfortunately. And we can go ahead and look at what the details are and, you know, I'll just go ahead and tell you the story of how, you know, I came to find out how it happened and uh, take a look at the aftermath. My wife tells me that she's going to go to the farmer's market, which is normal. She does that on Saturday mornings. She goes to the farmer's market and it was a little bit early. She said, you know, I think you're tired. You should probably sleep. Go ahead and sleep in. And, you know, I took her up on that and I did. I, I slept in a little while until uh, somebody came to my house and told me that my wife had been trying to call me and couldn't get a hold of me and I needed to call her right away. So I immediately get worried. I grab my phone. I look. I have six missed calls and I, I call my wife immediately you know, hear her voice on the phone and, you know, it's like, okay, well, that's good. I hear her voice and everything. Uh, and then she tells me that she was in an accident with the excursion and it was really bad. So uh, I'll go ahead and show you the, the first picture that I actually got to see. Um, you know, as, as soon as I, as soon as I had talked to her, she sent me a picture to show me what had happened. So I'll, I'll go ahead and bring that up. All right. And this is the picture that I got. This is the first picture that I got uh, from from just looking at it, you can really see just how, how serious of an accident this really was. I mean, the, uh, the mirrors hanging off down here, I mean, the, the, even this phone charger is hanging out, hanging out the window. This window and this window were busted out. Uh, the, the accident involved the excursion and it involved a work truck style four-door F-250. So uh, very, very heavy vehicles, very, very heavy steel vehicles. Uh, colliding in in this accident and it uh, yeah it, it definitely did some real damage to both vehicles so for a little perspective uh, we'll make this one the excursion here and this being the F-350 what had happened here is the excursion was traveling kind of like this and then the F-250 hit it somewhere around here pushing it inward spinning it around slightly onto that and then eventually they stopped somewhere right about there. I mean, I think that the excursion probably took the most damage in, in this situation. Uh, you know, we can just go ahead and go through some of the videos that I have here of, of what had happened. So this video here was the initial walk around. And you can see the, I mean, just the sheer extent of damage, uh, it, it really, I mean, it really happened really badly right on the side. I mean, that's that's really where, where the majority of the damage is. And I mean, like, like these pictures are, I mean, this video is a little hard to actually look at. I mean, in the, in the biggest scheme of things, it's, it's amazing that everybody walked away from this because it, it was quite a bad, I mean, quite a bad accident. I mean, like right here, you can actually see how far in this impression of the F-350 was. I mean, you can see it pushed in. I mean, it, it is pushed in quite a lot. I mean, you know, neither of these doors close anymore. It was just, it's amazing. And the, the F-350 was traveling at around 35 miles an hour. So this wasn't even necessarily what would be considered like a high speed impact. Uh, even at, at 35 miles an hour, it's still entirely possible to just cause a ton of damage to vehicles. Yeah, you can see here, like the, the passenger seat is completely folded over there into the center console. The center console uh, smashed a little bit, but yeah, uh, nobody was sitting in the passenger seat, which is, which is good. Uh, it, my wife was sitting here in the driver's seat, and of course my, my son would have been back here in the back seat, uh, back here. But yeah, just initially you can see that anybody sitting in that passenger seat would have absolutely just been hurt. I mean, they that wouldn't have wouldn't have ended well for somebody sitting right there. It looks like, and then yeah, back here in the back seat, you can see that the the 
passenger side rear seat did push over a little bit, but my son was in his car seat and was protected. I mean, it, it has like the side bolsters and everything. So uh, he was he was pretty well protected in, in the situation. He was in the middle, which is where I think kids are supposed to be from what I understand. I mean, it makes sense looking at this, why, why kids should be in the middle seat in car seats. Um, yeah, and then that back seat, the third row, looks like it was it was relatively untouched here. But yeah, the the main impact was right here in the side of the excursion. And yeah, you can just see how like how far pressed in it is. It's it's completely insane. So that was my initial walk around. That was just walking up on this. I hadn't actually seen it in person until I took that video, and that. That in itself, I, I really didn't have words at the time. I didn't know how to talk about it. I didn't know, you know, really how, how to feel about it. I mean, I, I know that after seeing all of this, you know, I'm just thankful everybody walked away from it. Nobody was seriously injured. I mean, you can see the windshield busted out here. The windshield's busted. The mirror was, the mirror was off. Uh, the hood was actually pushed up. So I tried to, right in here, I tried to actually lift it, but the but it was actually latched. So when I try to lift this, it won't actually open. And I think this was, yeah, this was walking in, just kind of looking at how deeply impacted that door was and just how, I mean, it, it really just ripped it. I mean, it just folded it around. I mean, it's, it's completely crazy to look at these pictures and, you know, like the pictures I have on Instagram and, some of the other YouTube videos, you know, I over the over the last couple months when we've been working with the insurance company and, and getting everything sorted out, I've kind of flipped back through some videos and some Instagram stuff and just kind of looking at what the excursion looked like previous to this and then just kind of looking at, at this footage that I took and I mean it's it's really hard to believe the, the amount of damage and destruction that, that happened here in the situation. You can kind of see how I uh, you can see that it broke off the step there at the bottom. Current status with the excursion, uh, as far as the insurance company goes, is that it is totaled. Uh, we're working with the insurance company and also with a gap coverage company as well because I, I did have a loan on this vehicle and I owed more than what the uh, going rate or the, the um, appraised value or, or KBB value or, or whatever. Uh, but the value of the vehicle was less than what I actually owed. Uh, so in the beginning, whenever I bought this thing, I bought the extended warranty, but I also bought gap coverage just in case. Uh, I think in the beginning, I wasn't really sure about the market, how the market was going to go with these things. And uh, I mean, they were desirable then. I mean, they're, they are quite desirable now as well. Uh, they were selling above what the market value was. I mean, what KBB or, or wherever else says the market value is. Uh, and I wanted to make sure that I was covered just in case that the, the market became flooded with them or uh, somehow they're oversaturated because Ford releases a new one and the people with the old ones are still hanging on to them, get rid of them. Not really sure, but I just wanted to be covered. Um, and I mean, it, it did work out pretty well to have that coverage here in this situation because the insurance company is going to pay the portion of, of the owed value, which is the market value. And I'll continue working with the gap coverage company to get them to cover the, you know, the gap between the market value and what we actually owed. Uh, so in the beginning, we had to get this taken to an insurance inspection place, I think was what they wanted. Uh, they wanted to put it up on a rack initially, but I think that's because no one had seen it yet. Uh, they, we had just done via phone, told them what had happened. So as soon as they put it on a rack, uh, lifted up in the air, they, they knew it was totaled. And this, this video right here is one of the main reasons why. Uh, you can see that the frame is actually bent at, I don't know, what is that, 20 degree angle? I mean, maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less, but the frame is actually bent in. So it, it folded the frame in, like right where the impact zone is, it, it folded it this way. And you can kind of see it there, uh, I tried to get decent views of what had happened. I mean, it looks like you can see the suspension was twisted a little bit. I mean, that, that leaf spring shouldn't be bent back down like that. So that's another indicator that the frame was bent. And that was the main, the main thing was that if the frame was bent on this excursion, they were definitely going to total it. 
uh, let alone with the body damage, which you know we can we can look at the body damage as well. Uh, but the frame being bent was the deciding factor. Uh, that without a doubt, it had to be totaled. You know, I won't really go into the details of the the specifics of uh, who was at fault, what had happened. I mean, the in the biggest scheme of things, the the most important thing is that everyone, yeah, everyone is okay. Everyone walked away here. You know, I, I had a lot of really cool stuff planned for the 6.0 excursion, and it, it definitely makes me really sad. Sad to see it go. Uh, I mean, unfortunately, I, I didn't really get to do a lot of it on the channel. You know, it's, it's the way things go in life. I mean, some things are just not meant to be. So currently, I am looking into options for another 6.0 project, maybe another excursion. Maybe it's going to be a truck this time. I'm really not too sure, but I definitely want to do 6.0 stuff. But at, at this point in time, we're still sorting out all of the insurance information. You know, yeah, I like nowadays, now that we're coming towards a close with the, the insurance company, getting everything sorted out, you know, I, I felt like it was a good time to go ahead and put together this video and just go through what had actually happened, you know, why why there hasn't been much content coming from the channel. This is, this is the big thing is, um, you know, just been doing just a bunch of work stuff and hanging out with my family and uh, just really just enjoying time with them, you know, being thankful that, you know, everyone walked away from this. Yeah, so going forward, I mean, I still have some F-250 stuff that I want to work on. Uh, I had a couple things lined up for the excursion that I think are going to end up going uh, for the F-250. I'll have more details for that in the very near future. Next, I'll go ahead and do just like a quick update, walk around type video for the F-250 just to see where it's at. For everybody who, who had been curious, uh, everybody who reached out on Instagram, on YouTube, I, I definitely appreciate it. I, I did not quit YouTube. I did not quit Instagram, though it may have appeared that I had, but I didn't. And I definitely appreciate all of you reaching out and I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video as well. So yeah, we'll be coming out with some new, new content, new F-250 videos, maybe we'll do some stuff to the car. I have some cool stuff coming out in the near future, but thanks for stopping in and I will catch you guys in the next video.